HSBasketball.com. I'm in Las Vegas here with Terrence Jones. Uh, Terrence and his Portland I-5 Elite team just won the center stage ch tournament championship in Las Vegas. Congratulations. Uh, so first off, why don't you tell everybody about just about the experience going through the uh, playoffs and winning the championship? Uh, going through it, my team was just real eager, and uh, we really wanted this one just coming from the beach team, coming up short. Uh, everybody played their role and everybody made shots. And that's how we got it done. Now, how do you feel like you played personally? Do you feel like you were the most dominant player in the tournament? Uh, from the teams we played, yeah. Uh, I just went out there and tried to work my hardest with the ball or without it. Now, where do you see yourself stand nationally? Now, you've won a major Las Vegas tournament. You play real well in the camps, camp circuit. Where do you feel like you stand nationally right now? Top 10, top 15. It doesn't really matter to me. I just would rather win championships. Uh, now, uh, what do you feel like you're going to need to improve in your game to take it to that next level of college and to the pros? Pretty much everything. Uh, just to be a complete all-around better player. Uh, dribbling, shooting, passing, everything. Yeah, now you, you have a real versatile game. You, need, you can play both guard positions and the forward positions. You can basically play all five positions in the forward. What position do you see yourself playing in college? Uh, point forward, the three, the one, two, or whatever my coach really needs me to get done. I'm moving on to college. You, you uh, have a long list of potential college shooters. Uh, are there any schools that are standing out right now at the top? Nah, I'm wide open. I'm going to cut my list down at the end of the summer. Yeah. Is there any conferences or any, any uh, specific things about schools that are standing out to you right now? Mm -hmm. um, well, what I'm looking for in the school is they get players in the NBA. Um, I trust the staff. I feel him um, come in as an impact player. So, and now you mentioned you tr trust the staff. Are there any particular coaches that have like been really showing they, they really want you a lot, like really making efforts to be at your games and stuff? Yeah, Oklahoma, University of Washington, Florida, Carolina, Georgetown, USC. Strong presence of yeah, Arizona. Cool. Now, you played at, you were at LeBron camp, you are at Vince Carter. Us, NBA camp yeah. and Pangos. Yeah. What did you take out of those experiences playing against all the other top players in the nation? Just the ex experienced coaches that are teaching you stuff, just try to take everything in and not forget it and just use it in the game. Now, who, who is the best player that you saw or played against? Uh, like, who do you feel is the best player nationally? Um, I'd say the most dominant player is going to be Jerry Sullivan, just the way he gets boards. Yeah, his they, teams win. They just lost. Yeah, they lost to Rising Stars, I believe. Yeah. Uh, and then I think uh, Austin Rivers and Team Stat beat Rising Stars in the semis. But uh, anyway, the one you said, Jared Stones is most dominant. Yeah, because he gives his team the big three most championships in the team. Definitely. Um, now, what, have you set a timetable for when you're going to make a college decision, or have you decided when you're going to start taking visits and things like that? Nah, just when I feel. That's the right school from the time is right. All right, cool. Well, I guess you heard it here first. I'm Dan Pondman here with uh, Center Stage champion Terrence Jones. Until next time. We're out. Hey, hey, hey. Get